been discussed in the community. And I know, again, you know, money's a driver for everything. Um, Mr. Marshall touched on it in a, in a earlier conversation, in an earlier discussion. Um, and, and that is our gateways in Atlanta. <coughs> I'm not, I'm not advocating going out there and spending a ton of money on landscaping and great signage and all that sort of stuff. But I do think that there's room for improvement to what we currently have rather than just a little green sign that says Lounge County. Um, I think that as much as anything, it's ongoing maintenance. Uh, again, everything rolls around the doll, folks. But if we can improve the gateways coming into Lounge County, um, we can we can go a long way to improving the perception that folks have about this community when they come into it. It doesn't do us a whole lot of good for somebody driving into Lambs County and our box culverts are grown up, our bridge railings are all grown up, and all those sort of things. And those are I know that those are difficult things. I know we get on a schedule and and. I'll take you. Public Works does a fantastic job with all that they do, but you've got to realize the broad brush that they have to work with. They have to keep these these county dirt roads in as good a shape as they can possibly keep them in, and that's a round-the-clock process. Um, I know that we we currently have a contract now, with, as y'all are aware of, with the state to 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 mow the state highways, but we still have county maintained roads that comes in here as well. I just think that it would be a positive thing for the community, again, to kind of address the gateways coming into our community. But again, it's, it's revenue, it's a revenue driven thing. We've got a nice sign on Valdale Road at the Cook County line. I don't know how you describe it, but it's a larger sign welcoming people in the Lowndes County. I don't see a lot of those around, but that was that would be, um, that would, they got stolen. That's because all the good money spent on the north end of the county, and we don't have stuff like that on the that's, south That would be great. <laughs> Coming into Lowndes County out of Florida, you know, you're not only crossing the uh, county line, but the state line. But um, that would be something that doesn't require a lot of maintenance. I agree, if you have landscaping out there, you got to go out there and trim bushes and weed eat and all that. And, that, you know, we have all kind of landscaping around our area, uh, like in Val Hospital. Uh, little nice shrubs turn into great big trees and bushes and can't see, so we got to be careful about that. But uh, just a sign like that to me makes a world of difference. Well, my thoughts are a sign um, <clears throat> that that recognizes, of course, that you're definitely coming into Lambs County. Right. We've got you know a, a logo that shows the dome of the courthouse and this little slash that's under it. It's very very attractive. Do that, and then you can add to that sign. I'm talking about the sign being, you can add to that sign the things such as Moody Air Force Base, home of VSU, Ball State University. Uh, identify some of the strong points that this community has, home of South Georgia Medical Center. Uh, you can't get it so cluttered up <coughs> that it that you can't see it, but most people that are passing through it will will, will get what's on there. But I think it's a good opportunity for us clean up, make the gateways look better, but at the same time, advertise and market our community as well. I think it's just, we may be missing an opportunity. Who would, who would be best to, excuse me, to address that would public works be able to public identify work, you, yeah. you know, like your state roads and federal roads would probably be the first one to come in uh, to be, uh, have that kind of signage because we're the most attractive. I, I think that, I think that they can probably, along with Joe and his staff can, can basically develop a plan. Of course, with every plan, there's cost. So we got to know what that issue is as well. Again, as we're moving through the budgeting process, uh, is this something that we're going to be able to do? Um, so that, that really is the reality of it. But I, just, I feel like that that's, again, is one of those short-term goals that we can see if we can get accomplished, but at the same time, it's one of those long-term goals that is something that you consistently want to keep in the forefront. Yes, ma'am. My concern is this, and it's one of the things that is used all the time in the court. Is there any way that we can get a dialogue with the city and this DOT to do something to enhance A to four? Once you pass McDonald's and the other, you'll go, I get called all the time. How is it going? You know, you, after you pass McDonald's, I mean, everything.
everything else is just lost. And this should be some way that More directional signs. You're talking about no, not, east, going not, east, not only right. signs, but just to clean that entire area. Well, the, the, the 84, your state highways, we now, there was an issue as we went through the early part of the year and only pretty much into the middle of the summer, trying to get squared away with the contract with the state to kind of turn us loose on doing that mowing. Um, they've done that now, that, that's correct. So we're, we're starting those that mowing and, and doing those sort of things. So I think you're going to see some improvements there. I hope so. You're talking uh, about about if Harry Tess is building in inner city, they need to, the city needs to look at doing something. Well, I think the city's going to, the only thing the city's going to look at is what's within their boundaries and their city limit signs. That's in their city. As we've said many times, <laughs> folks in the city are still Lowndes County. We have to look from county line to county line, which sends us through the cities in a lot of cases. Yeah, okay. uh, I, I'm not necessarily, to be honest with you, I'm not necessarily concerned about the signage coming into the city of Valdosta. Not the signage. I, the I'm, concerned, I'm concerned about Lowndes County and where we're at, those gateways. I think we can go a long way to kind of improving that a little bit. Yeah. But again, it's it's all that, that, that issue again is revenue driven, um, and it's really something that we would have to commit to. It's not going to do any good at all to go out there and put a real pretty sign up, fix something, start something, and then just ignore it and everything begin to run down and we're not mowing, we're not maintaining, we're not doing those sort of things. I, I've got a, and this this is too uh, digging too deep for right now. Just say so. Like on I-75, are we allowed to put county signs out there on I-75 without a federal? You have a um, <coughs> you have the board. You have the county sign indicating the county You're entering loud. Yeah, I think I he's talking about a decorative sign. <coughs> yeah, a decorative <coughs> sign. I know we've got a little green sign all down I-75. There are there limitations to what the federal yeah. highway uh, will allow you to put there. Well, I think Again, I'm not about, sure though, John, that I-75. It's really, even though you've got to admit it comes in the north end, goes out the south end, it comes all the way through. through but the all county. the trip, once you get off of that, then that's what people perceive as the county. They perceive I 75 as a corridor as I 75. But once they get off of I 75 and start moving through the communities and our county. So you would include as gateways the exits off of the interstate potentially? Or are you talking about the corridors? I'm, think, I'm thinking about. It. Again, if, if you're if, if you're on I-75, let me use the analogy of hay hire first. We the, the cities are doing a pretty fair job of clean clearing and cleaning the right of way, and, and so if the county picked it up at the county line on the west side and brought it to the city limit sign, then we're clean all the way through. Uh, I think our signage needs to be on the county boundaries. If that means putting one and possibly on the north end on 75, okay. And on the south end coming in on 75, okay. But to get put one at every exit when you hit those. No, I, no, I just I meant the county, that. like the Wild Adventures exit or something like that is what I was thinking of. Yeah. But, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But I, I think about two some, signs on 75, you put them at the county line. Yeah. You know, there again, that depends on what uh, DOT says we can and can't do. But bottom line is, I think it would be, uh, I think it would be good for this community and good, um, uh, good for the certainly for the county that if we look at those gateways and try to improve them. Okay. Can I ask a you're on the sign? I know uh, you requested that some of the spot signs be put up. I think it's a good idea. Anytime we have a road that's had spots, uh, uh, construction, maintenance, or improvements, anyway, put that, let people, let the taxpayers know that this is where some of their money is going. I think there was more of an emphasis on that in years past. And I know going up Valdale Road, I've seen a, seen a couple of them. And I think it makes a lot of difference in helping people understand where this boss money is going. Well, most people's memories are fairly short. It's just like Union Road. I was raised up right over here on Union Road, and when I was over there, it was a dirt road. And that was a long dirt road when you went from 41 to Hay Hire on oh, yeah. Union yeah. Road. Uh, and lost dollars were spent to pay Union Road. And so I think that, that uh, keeping that at the forefront and folks educating again through that process, what good SPLOS pennies have done for this community and for things that they had been able to do, uh, as I said, our memories are sometimes short, but reality is, is that it doesn't hurt to be reminded sometimes. And that's what those little signs did. Uh, it reminded folks that that work had been done. 
And again, I'd love to take credit for those sort of things, but that credit really goes back to the steering committee and those folks working very, very hard on making that process uh, successful. We <coughs> all continue it. Yeah, only my class seven. When we do a project, we go to the road, place a bridge, put one of those signs out there next to it. That's a cheap way to remind people of. of uh, yeah, to vote next time. Where the money's going? What's you know, out there? Okay. All right. At this time, now we'll.